Oh, good to see you making clay models for your school project. Is that Jupiter in your hands, little kitty? No, Mercury. Oh, then you got the size and color wrong. If you want good grades, I suggest you learn some interesting facts about it. Kitty wants A+. Plus. Great. So let me explain to you all some interesting facts about the first planet in our solar system called Mercury. Zoom in. Mercury is the first planet in our solar system with a diameter of 3031.9 miles making it slightly bigger than our moon and eventually the smallest planet in size. But despite being small, it is the fastest planet in our solar system as it takes only 88 days to complete one revolution around the sun. However, days can be really long here as it takes about 59 Earth days to complete one rotation around its axis. And just like Earth, it is a terrestrial planet too, meaning they have a compact rocky surface like the Earth's terra firma and three layers, the core, the mantle and the crust but with no tectonic plates. Also, its iron core is the densest part that makes up around 85% of its radius, while the Earth's core makes up only 55% of its total size. Also, the core has a significant contribution towards the weight of Mercury, making it the most iron-rich planet in the entire solar system. But with time, this iron-loaded core is cooling down, resulting in the wrinkling and shrinking of this planet like a raisin. Yes, some scientists estimate that the planet is now about 8.6 miles smaller in diameter than it was nearly 4 billion years ago. Another factor that may surprise you about Mercury is that it isn't the hottest planet in our solar system, despite being closest to the Sun. Yes, because it has almost no atmosphere, but just a thin layer of exosphere that cannot hold in heat and keep the surface warm. The temperature can drop to minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit during nights. But due to its close proximity to the sun, it can rise up to a whopping 800 degrees Fahrenheit during the daytime. Not only that, but this lack of an atmospheric layer to protect it from the outer attacks has also led to multiple meteor showers on this planet leading to the formation of many large craters, one of which is called the Calaris Basin, which has a diameter of around 960 miles. Researchers believe it could have been caused by an object nearly 62 miles wide, which is way bigger than an asteroid. Chick X Club Impactor, which was only 6.2 miles wide, but still managed to wipe out dinosaurs on Earth. These extreme factors about this tiny planet makes us curious to learn more about its existence. But due to its orbit so close to the Sun, it is challenging to observe it from the Earth, because of which so far, we only managed to send two spacecrafts to its surface. Yes, NASA's Marina 10 in 1973 and Messenger in 2004 gave us little information we have about this little planet until now. But the space community is making more and more efforts to know more and more about Mercury's extreme behavior. And hopefully in the near future, 
someone from our lovely audience will manage to unwrap the layers beneath the rocky surface of a cute little speedy planet called Mercury. Trivia time! Did you know Mercury was named after the Roman god Mercurius? Yes, Mercurius was the messenger of Roman gods, also known for his speed. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind. Oh, little kitty, why do you look so sad? Kitty, read astrology. So? Kitty's Venus bird. <laughs> Well, I don't hold any expertise in the subject of astrology, but I can surely explain the good, bad, and the best part of Venus through astronomy. Mm, please explain. All righty then. Hey, friends. So in today's episode, let us learn some exciting in-depth facts about this planet of love we call Venus. Zoom in. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and the sixth largest in our solar system. It is a planet that consists of mountains, valleys and tens of thousands of volcanoes and has a radius of 3,760 miles and a diameter of 7,521 miles, slightly smaller than Earth. So because of these similarities with Earth, in terms of size, structure and chemical composition, it is often called Earth's twin. But the significant difference between us is that Venus rotates on its axis backward compared to most of the other planets in the solar system. This means that on Venus, the sun rises in the west and sets in the east, opposite to what we experience on Earth. Not only that, Venus reflects 70% of all the sunlight it receives, and that is why it is the second brightest object in the sky after the moon and the sun. But unfortunately, not everything that shines is gold. And what seems like love at first sight can eventually turn toxic, which is absolutely true for Venus. Yes, that's because Venus's entire surface is covered with clouds made of poisonous sulfur dioxide, giving us enough reasons not to step on the planet. But it does not mean that no attempt was made to access this planet as the first spacecraft to set mechanical feet on another planet landed on Venus. Yes, around the 1960s and 70s, the former Soviet Union's Venera probes dropped through the planet's unbearable atmosphere, managed to send back essential data on Earth, letting us know that Venus is like a massive pressure cooker. That's true, my friends. Venus has crushing air pressure at its surface, which is more than 90 times that of Earth. This is similar to the pressure you'd encounter a mile below the ocean on Earth. This pressure is so intense that a human standing on its surface would be crushed. And on top of that, the atmosphere is full of greenhouse gases mainly carbon dioxide, leading to the issue of extreme global warming. The atmospheric layer traps the sun's heat, causing the surface temperature to go over 880 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead and declaring Venus the hottest planet in our solar system, despite Mercury being closest to the sun. All these factors make Venus an inhospitable planet where neither life 
nor spacecraft can survive. But some scientists believe that this wasn't always the case. Yes, around 2.9 billion to 750 million years ago, Venus's global temperature is speculated to be a few degrees cooler than what we have on Earth today. And they also believe that its surface may have contained shallow oceans with enough water to support life. Not only that, even today, despite the punishable environment, some scientists theorize that life may still exist in this planet's atmosphere. You heard that right, my friends. Around 30 miles above Venus's clouds, where the surface pressure and temperature are still kind of like the Earth's surface, researchers have found abnormal dark streaks soaking UV radiations. This incredible event can be evidence of microbial life. Now, that's awesome news. And who knows what else lies in Venus's mysterious environment? Trivia time! Did you know Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty? Yes, it was due to its bright, shining appearance in the sky. Hope you learned something fascinating today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> well, never mind. Oh, little kitty, don't pollute our Mother Earth. That's bad manners. Why? Hmm, to know that, you need to learn how lucky we are to be born on it. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us explore some vital facts about the home we call Earth. Zoom in! Planet Earth, a giant mass of water and mud revolving in space, and the only known home sweet home formed just for us as it gives us food to eat, water to drink and air to breathe, making it a perfect breeding ground for life to evolve. But it wasn't created overnight and took billions of years to become the world we know today. Yes, about 4.5 billion years ago, gravity started pulling the remaining of a dead star along with other small particles of dust, rock and gas that over the next few million years formed a giant boulder and eventually Earth. Our planet is made of four layers. At the center, we can find the solid inner core with a temperature of around 5,200 degrees Celsius. This is covered by an outer core with a hot liquidy texture and a temperature between 4,900 to 5,500 degrees Celsius. Around this is a mantle made with a mixture of silicates, magnesium oxide and other metals and non-metals. And finally, we have the rocky outer crust where life exists. At present, the Earth is the third planet from the Sun with a distance of about 93 million miles. Due to the distance between the Earth and the Sun, the temperature on the Earth's surface is neither too cold like on Jupiter and Saturn, nor too hot like in the case of Mercury. Because of this balanced climatic condition, the Earth can hold water in its three states – solid ice, liquid water and gaseous vapor. And as we know, it is due to this availability of water, harboring life became possible on Earth. And today, our world is the home for millions of micro and advanced life forms living in harmony in its biosphere. But it's not just the position 
but other factors such as its rotation and revolution also helped to carve the planet into its current form. Yes, this rotation and revolution of the Earth have contributed to many factors like the flat poles and bulge around the equator, the day and night cycle, the season cycle, tides, etc. And on top of everything, our Mother Earth is lovingly wrapped in an envelope of atmosphere. Though it might come across as just a gaseous layer around our planet, however, it does way more for us than what meets the eye. Yes, some of its tasks include protecting our Earth from harmful radiations of the Sun, dealing with the approaching blazing asteroids, regulating the climate and even lighting up our days. In short, we should be thankful for nature for making the world a perfect planet in all sense. But at the same time, it is our duty and responsibility to protect our Earth by keeping it clean, finding alternative sources of energy and planting more trees. Because right now, there is no other place we can go to and this is the only planet we can proudly call home. Trivia time! Oh, did you know the Earth is the only planet in our solar system that wasn't named after any Roman or Greek god? Yes, Earth is a German word that simply means the ground. Hope you learned something interesting today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind. Oh, where are you going, little kitty? Kitty, go Mars for peace. Well, before you go there, I'll request you to please learn if Mars can sustain life in its current form. All right, please explain. Sure. Hey, friends. So, let us travel to explore exciting facts about this red planet we call Mars. Zoom in. No other planet has intrigued humankind more than our neighborhood red planet called Mars. This dusty cold desert is the fourth planet from the Sun and is the second smallest planet in the solar system with a diameter of around 4,220 miles wide which is almost the width of Africa from east to west. Mars is positioned further from the Sun than the Earth, so it has a longer year of 687 days versus 365 for our planet. But the two planets have almost similar day lengths. Yes, it takes about 24 hours and 40 minutes for Mars to complete one rotation around its axis compared to 24 hours for Earth. And just like Earth, Mars is a terrestrial planet and is made of three layers. The innermost layer of Mars is made up of iron, nickel and sulphur, which is enveloped by a rocky mantle made of silicate minerals. And its outer layer is a rocky crust rich in iron which reacts with available oxygen in Mars's atmosphere and gives it the iconic rusty red look. Although its dry appearance might make it appear as a desert-like hot place, but surprisingly, the overall climate of Mars is colder than the Earth, with an average temperature of 20 degrees Celsius at midday near the equator and around minus 142 degrees Celsius near the pole during the winter. Yes, you heard that right. Mars can also experience seasons like summer, spring, fall and autumn. 
However, these seasons are more extreme than Earth as its oval-shaped orbit around the Sun is more elongated than any other major planet. Plus, despite having two moons called Phobos and Deimos, they aren't large enough to stabilize Mars's axis, causing wild swings in its tilt. On top of that, the atmosphere of Mars is much thinner than Earth's and contains more than 95% carbon dioxide and much less than 1% oxygen, making it hard for any life to sustain. But according to research, this was not always the case, as in the ancient past, the atmosphere and weather of this planet were more balanced with a warmer climate and watery surface. Not only that, Mars had several active lava erupting volcanoes too, including Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, which is nearly three times larger than Mount Everest. But as time passed, Mars lost its global magnetic field about 4 billion years ago, leading to the stripping of much of its atmosphere by the solar wind. And about 15 million years ago, its water and volcanoes gradually went extinct and today all we see is a dried, rusty planet that can't support life. But there is still some hope due to leftover water available in the form of polar ice caps. Because of this, researchers believe that life may have existed on Mars and it may exist again. And it is this hope for life many space organizations from the globe have taken a keen interest in Mars and launched several crafts on its surface to learn about its ability to support life and become humanity's next home. Trivia time! Did you know the planet Mars was named after the Roman deity that goes by the same name? Yes, Mars, the Roman god, also known as Ares in Greek mythology, was the deity of war. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, you're still planning to go to Mars? No, did he go to metal concert? Oh, never mind. Go ahead, little kitty. Asking questions is a sign of high intelligence. Mm. Which planet came first? That's excellent. So, let me take this opportunity to explain exciting facts about the oldest planet in our solar system. And that is Jupiter. Zoom in! Although Jupiter is the fifth planet in our solar system in terms of number, but in age, it is probably the first planet to be formed in our solar system around 4.5 billion years ago and soon became the giant planet with a diameter of around 86,881 miles that can fit around 1,300 Earths in itself. Due to this massive size, scientists assume that under more extreme conditions, Jupiter could have evolved into a double star companion to our Sun. And despite being so huge, Jupiter is also the fastest planet in the solar system as it takes only 10 hours to complete one rotation around its axis. Meaning, a day on Jupiter is only 10 hours long versus 24 hours on Earth. And just like Earth, Jupiter rotates around the Sun in an elliptical orbit. But taking its distance from the Sun into account, 
which is around 484 million miles apart, it takes a whopping 12 Earth years to complete one revolution around the Sun. And for all these reasons, no one dares to step on its surface. But to give you an idea, it is because Jupiter is known to be a gas giant. And unlike the Earth and the other terrestrial planets, it does not have a solid surface. Also, some scientists suggest that Jupiter has a dense liquid center and is surrounded by an ocean of hydrogen and helium gases. Plus, the planet's surface can continuously be seen amid storms, causing wind with a speed of around 192 miles per hour to more than 400 miles per hour. This storm is massive, kind of like a hurricane. And at its widest point, the storm is about three and a half times the Earth's diameter. On top of that, the atmosphere on Jupiter is very thick, which is composed of a mixture of hydrogen, helium, and much smaller amounts of methane and ammonia. Also, the temperature of the clouds surrounding Jupiter is minus 145 degrees Celsius. On the contrary, the temperature of its inner core is 24,000 degrees Celsius, which is hotter than the sun itself. Due to its hot core, hydrogen, which is in a gaseous form on the Earth, has turned into a liquid on Jupiter. And because Jupiter spins so fast, this swirling liquid ocean of hydrogen generates strong magnetic field, emitting a stronger gravitational force, which is holding more than 67 moons around the planet. Yes, with four large moons and many smaller moons, Jupiter forms a kind of miniature solar system. But these strong magnetic pulls let Jupiter face the blow from the frequent asteroids and meteorite showers, which protect the Earth from getting hit by an asteroid. So in short, the temperatures, pressures and materials that characterize this planet are most likely too extreme and volatile for organisms to adapt to making life impossible on the largest, heaviest, oldest, and the vastest spinning planet we call Jupiter. Trivia time! Did you know Jupiter being the biggest planet gets its name from the king of the ancient Roman gods? Another interesting fact is, if you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you'd weigh 253 pounds on Jupiter. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind. Try, little kitty. Maybe you need to practice more to achieve perfection. <laughs> Saturn isn't playing hula hoop, little kitty. Its ring is a result of its structure, composition, and surrounding. <laughs> Let me explain. Hey, friends, in today's episode, let us learn amazing things about this ring planet we call Saturn. Zoom in! Decorated with multiple beautiful rings, Saturn looks unique among the planets in our solar system. It is the sixth planet from the Sun and orbits at a distance of about 886 million miles, which takes 29 Earth years to finish one revolution around the Sun. But at the same time, it takes 
only about 10.7 hours to complete one rotation or length of the day around its axis. In terms of size, Saturn is the second largest amongst all planets with an equatorial diameter of 72,367 miles, making it about 9.5 times bigger than the diameter of the Earth. In other words, we can fit around 10 Earths around its horizontal diameter. But you'll be literally shocked to know that despite its size, Saturn is actually the lightest planet amongst its peers in terms of density. Yes, that's because, like the other gas giants, Saturn is mostly a massive ball of hydrogen and helium. It is so light that it would float in water if there was an ocean big enough to hold it. Not only that, Saturn's gaseous composition gives it no solid surface like Earth. So, if you try to walk on it, you would sink through its atmosphere due to air pressure. But it is assumed to have a somewhat solid core made of rocky material, ice and water. On top of that, the planet is full of gaseous liquid and ammonia crystals that swirl around the planet, causing massive storms. Because of this, it is hard for life to exist on this planet. But what fascinates us the most about Saturn is its rings extending hundreds of thousands of kilometers from it. These are made of ice and rocky substances that come in various sizes, ranging from a grain of sand to as large as an elephant. From a distance, it looks like Saturn has seven large rings that are separated by gaps called divisions. These rings are named after alphabets A to G in the order they were discovered. Though scientists aren't sure when or how Saturn's rings formed, however, they assume the rings might have something to do with Saturn's many, many moons. Yes, unlike Earth's one and only moon, Saturn has at least 53 known moons, with an additional 29 moons awaiting confirmation of their discovery. So at times, asteroids and meteorites crash into these moons and break them into pieces, forming the iconic ring structure which is as wide as four and a half Earth. Yet the vertical height is only about 30 feet in the main rings. And you will be amazed to know that these rings are not still but circle around Saturn at very high speeds. Not only that, a closer look reveals that each large ring is made up of many small rings sometimes called ringlets. Though there is still a lot we need to learn about this ring planet, however, whatever we know, we can surely say that Saturn, with its many moons, multiple rings and gassy composition, surely defines the motto, Be different, better than anything else in the known universe. Trivia time! Did you know Saturn is named after the Roman god Saturnus? Whereas in Indian mythology, Saturn is often called the god of justice. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh. Never mind. Oh, is that Jupiter, little kitty? No, Uranus. Well, you got the wrong color as Uranus is not brown but blue as the ocean. Really? 
Absolutely. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us learn exciting facts about this beautiful planet we call Uranus. Zoom in! On the evening of 13th March 1781, British astronomer William Herschel was looking at stars through his famous 40-foot telescope. That's when he detected a very faded object which he thought was a comet or a star. But after some more analysis, researchers realized that it was a new planet orbiting around our Sun. Yes, it was the first new planet discovered since ancient times and after some debate was named Uranus. And today, we know Uranus as the seventh planet from the Sun, floating comfortably at a distance of about 1.8 billion miles, which is 20 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. And because of this long distance, it takes about 84 years for Uranus to complete one revolution around the Sun. And you won't believe it, but from this distance, it takes sunlight 2 hours and 40 minutes to travel from the Sun to Uranus. But let's not forget that Uranus is the third largest planet in the solar system with a diameter of around 31,518 miles, which is about four times wider than Earth. At the center, it has an Earth-sized rocky core burning with a temperature of nearly 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. But the rest of the planet is cold, swirling fluids consisting of water, ammonia and methane, which gives Uranus its iconic blue color. Yes, when sunlight passes through Uranus, atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen and helium the rays are reflected back out of its cloud tops. And when that happens, the little methane gas present in it absorbs the red portion of the light, resulting in a blue-green color. Not only that, all this chemical composition does not allow Uranus to emit much heat. As a result, the temperature on its liquidy surface can drop as low as minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit, making it the coldest planet in our solar system. But the most fascinating thing about this blue world is its strange orientation. Yes, while the other seven planets spin on their axis like a top, Uranus takes a different turn and rotates along its equator at a right angle in which its polar region points towards and away from the Sun. Not only that, but unlike the rings of other planets which tend to spin horizontally, Uranus rings spin vertically like a Ferris wheel. All these features make Uranus a unique planet. But unfortunately, the same characteristics cannot allow life forms to survive on this planet, as it's too extreme and volatile for organisms to adapt to. But despite its distance and unsuitable condition, Uranus has fascinated humans a lot since its discovery. And hopefully soon, we will be able to cover a lot more secrets hidden under the cold, liquidy surface of this blue world. Trivia time! Did you know Uranus has 27 known moons and 13 rings? Yes, the inner rings are narrow and dark and the outer rings are brightly colored. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind. Oh, 
little kitty, do you know what kind of tunes planets like to play? What? The answer is Neptunes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Maybe I can't be a pro comedian, but I can surely be a professor and teach you and our lovely friends about the last planet in our solar system we call Neptune. Zoom in! More than 30 times as far from the Sun as Earth, which is around 2.8 billion miles in length, Neptune is the most distant planet and holds the eighth spot in our solar system. Yes, it is so far that it takes nearly four hours for sunlight to reach there. And that's not it. The distance gives Neptune the longest orbit in our solar system. Because of all this, it takes about a whopping 165 years to finish one revolution around our sun, with each season lasting a little more than 40 Earth years. But as far as its rotation is concerned, it only takes about 16 hours to finish one full day on this planet. Being so far away from the sun also keeps it deprived of heat and light, due to which this world appears dark and makes it the only planet not visible to the naked eye. Plus, this drives the surface temperature brutally cold with an average temperature of negative 373 degrees Fahrenheit. Hence, like its neighbor Uranus, it is also known as an ice giant. Yes, with a diameter of around 30,599 miles, which is about four times wider than Earth, Neptune is the fourth largest planet in our solar system. In fact, even its solid core is about 1.5 times the Earth's size, which makes up around 45% of the planet's total mass. This core is made of water, ice and silicate rock while the remaining part of the planet is assumed to consist of water, methane and ammonia ice wrapped by a layer of cloud. This cloud is made of hydrogen and helium with just a little bit of methane gas giving this planet its beautiful bright blue appearance. But don't get fooled by its calming blue shade as Neptune is the solar system's windiest planet. Yes, these winds are three times stronger than Jupiter's and nine times stronger than what we experience here on Earth. One of the strongest storms here was in 1989, named the Great Dark Spot, which was almost the size of the Earth. And since then, Neptune has faced several intense storms which are not conducive to life as we know it. But above this stormy atmosphere lies a serene set of rings and moons. Out of this 40 known moons, Triton is the largest and the only large moon in the solar system that rotates in a direction opposite to Neptune's rotation, which suggests that it may once have been an independent object that Neptune captured. As far as its rings are concerned, it has at least five main rings and four prominent ring arcs, which we know according to the data captured by NASA's Voyager 2, the first and only spacecraft to study Neptune up close. But there is so much left to discover about the last planet in our solar system, and I'm sure humanity will explore more about this dark, cold, windy planet 
we call Neptune. Trivia time! Did you know, in 2011, Neptune completed its first 165-year full orbit since its discovery in 1846? Also, like its neighbor Uranus, Neptune likely formed closer to the Sun and moved to the outer solar system about 4 billion years ago. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind. <laughs>